Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Um, what I eat in a week videos are my favorite kind of videos to watch on YouTube. So I thought I'd have a go at making it myself. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into what I eat in a week as an Asian in Paris. So before we get into the meals, I just wanted to say that I'm drinking a lot of warm water these days especially as it's so cold here in France. I always start each morning with a cup of warm water and I have many of these throughout the day. It just keeps me really warm and cozy. So for lunch for Monday, we were just gonna have some leftovers from the night before. I just cut up some fish cakes. These are Japanese fish cakes called Naruto, I think. <laughs> and um, some bok choy. And I heated up the leftover hot pot soup that we had from the night before. And I threw in some mushrooms. As well as the bok choy and the fish cakes that we had just cut. And on the side, I just cooked some noodles so that we could have a bit of carbs in the meal. And I just let those two cook. And when everything was ready, I just served the noodles um, together with the soup and all the ingredients that we had cooked and I topped it with a hard-boiled egg as well. And that was lunch for Monday. For dinner, I was feeling a bit like pasta, so I just cooked up some um, vegetable balls from Hertha's Le Bon Végétal. Uh, so yeah, I just baked them in the oven for a little bit until they were cooked. And I cooked some spaghetti, as well as some tomato sauce for the pasta. And then when everything was cooked, I just assembled them all together. So I had those balls acting like meatballs. <laughs> And yeah, we just had it with the pasta. And I topped everything off with some Parmesan cheese and it was delish. For breakfast on Tuesday, I had some lye cheese for breakfast as well as my cup of warm water as usual. And then for lunch, I made my all-time favorite dish, which is a kimchi tofu stew. It's so good, I just am obsessed with it. <laughs> so here I'm just frying up some kimchi in a pot before adding in some water and kimchi juice. And then I also added in some gochujang, some sugar, I gave it all a good mix and let it boil. And when everything was boiling and have simmered for a bit, I added in some mushrooms, gave it a good stir. And then I cut up some soft tofu. So this is um, the silk tofu, the extra soft one. I just cut it up and um, I served it with the soup. And then just for the aesthetics, I added some sesame seeds as well as some spring onions and so yeah that was my lunch i love this dish every single time it's so good never fails me this recipe also another thing to mention i have these um throughout the week as well it's just some ovatine drink uh yeah i'm just so obsessed with this it's so good for dinner i wanted to try out a tiktok um, recipe hack thing that I saw uh, with the tortilla wraps so I just cooked up these um, fake chicken <laughs> it's actually made of soy so it's completely vegetarian and it was really good so I just baked it in the oven as per the instructions and then I just cut it up into some smaller pieces then I got my tortilla wrap I made that cut down the middle. I loaded it with some lettuce, tomatoes, the fake chicken, and some cheese. And then I got to wrapping.
and then we just put everything in the grill for a little bit um, just to get everything nice and warm and the cheese oozing and it was a very good dinner I strongly recommend this little hack because you get a bit of everything with each bite and it's just chef's kiss For breakfast the next day, I made myself some classic avocado toast. I used to be really into these. I'm not sure why I stopped. Um, but anyway, so I just toasted some bread in the oven and then I mashed some avocado on it. And I like to top mine with a bit of salt as well as some balsamic glaze. And that was breakfast. While working, I felt a bit like snacking, so I got myself these um, ice jam biscuits that I brought back from Singapore. It just has a little biscuity part at the bottom and some sugar at the top. And it's like the typical traditional Singaporean childhood snack. So yeah, I really enjoyed those. For lunch, I decided to make a quick pasta to use some leftover veggies that we had. So I just cut up some tomatoes, gorgette, mushrooms, and then I boiled some pasta and while that was boiling, I just cooked the veggies on a pan. And when the pasta was done, I added the pasta in, added the tomato sauce in and just gave everything a good mix. Then I served it in a dish with some cheese. It was a pretty big portion what I made, so I didn't finish everything and Damien had the leftovers. For dinner, I made some okonomiyaki, which is basically some Japanese savory pancakes. Um, usually you can have quite a bit of ingredients in it, but I just made it really basic with cabbage. Added in some flour and water and I just plopped it onto a pan and then I flipped it on the other side And then when everything was done, I just served it with some okonomiyaki sauce, some Japanese mayonnaise, and some bonito flakes. And here you can see the bonito flakes dancing because of the heat. And yeah, it was a very delicious dinner. For breakfast, I made my usual Ovatine drink. And then for lunch, I made tteokbokki. I love tteokbokki so much. Um, it's a Korean spicy rice cake dish. So I made that by boiling some water first and then I added in some gochujang. Mixed it all together. And then I added in also some sugar. And when everything was boiling, I just added in some rice cakes. So the rice cakes will help to thicken up the sauce. If you know tteokbokki, you'll know that the sauce is quite thick. So yeah, I also added in some rice cakes that we had left over. As well as some mushrooms. And I just give everything a good mix and let it boil. So as I said, the sauce will kind of thicken up as the rice cakes cook in it. So yeah, after everything is cooked, I just let it simmer for a little bit to let it thicken even more. I just served it up. I topped it with some spring onions and sesame seeds. And that was my lunch. I made a bigger portion at lunchtime. So we had the same thing for dinner. And I have no complaints because I just love it so much. I just added in an extra egg for Damon and I. So yeah, that was our dinner. 
For breakfast the next day, again I had some avocado toast with salt and balsamic as well as my warm water. For lunch, we got some takeout from a little hole-in-the-wall eatery. I think it's called Yonja. I'm not quite sure what cuisine this is. Um, but it was really good and it was completely vegetarian, the entire store. So yeah, it was really nice. Damien and I got a bowl each. And we enjoyed our lunch at home. And for dinner, it was um, so interesting. We just had some of the vegetarian steak that I got from the supermarket. Um, that was made of wheat and soy along with some long beans, some potatoes and creamy mushroom that Damien did and he's really good at it and it's so delicious and yeah, that was our dinner I'm not quite sure why I didn't film breakfast that day but as usual I had my avocado toast and for lunch I was craving some katsudon so I made a vegetarian version with the fake fried chicken from earlier on in the video and then I mixed together some sauce for the katsudon with some mirin, rice vinegar, soy sauce, sugar and water. I also cracked in some eggs. Then when the fake fried chicken was ready, I just cut them into strips. And then in the pan, I heated the sauce. Added the fried chicken in. Added in the egg and I just let everything cook for a little bit. And voila, that was our lunch. For dinner, we decided to have hot pot. So we just prepared some food that we'll add into the soup. So we've got carrots, corn, mushrooms, noodles, some bok choy, some crab sticks and tofu all to go into a mushroom soup base. I really love having hot pot when the weather is quite chilly and it's a really nice meal to have together with friends because you can all gather around the table and cook and eat at the same time. For breakfast the next day, I made my favorite weekend breakfast which is French toast. So in a dish, I just mixed some eggs together with sugar, vanilla essence, and cinnamon. And then I heated up some butter on a pan and I dipped the bread into the egg mixture and just plop it right onto the pan and fry it on both sides. And then I just served it with some berries as well as some agave nectar. And it is delicious. I love French toast. For lunch, I wasn't really in the mood to cook something fancy. So I just made some instant ramen. So yeah, I just boiled some water, added the seasonings, the noodles. I also added in some leftover enoki mushrooms and fish cake. And I just let all of that cook as per the instructions. And then I served it up with some spring onions and I like to add a slice of cheese on top of mine. And I served it together with some pickled radish and kimchi. And that was lunch on a cold snowy day. For dinner, Damien and I were having our late Christmas Eve dinner. So we wanted to make something a little special and Damien made us some pierogi which are Polish dumplings. So we made three kinds, uh, one with some potatoes and onions, the other with some cabbage and mushrooms, and the third one is a sweet pierogi with some berries in it. And we just served it with some fromage blanc, sugar, and caramelized onions. I love pierogi so much. It's so much effort to do, but it's totally worth it. And that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I always get a lot of inspiration when I watch these kind of videos, so I hope it does the same for you. And yeah, I guess that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!